Yeah, it's an interesting cacophony of sounds living here. There are footsteps on the ceiling, but there are also screams of a child. A distant dog barks. Car alarms go off. I mean, in the background. It is such an interesting... And the fridge... The fridge decided to quit because it you know knows I'm like, leaving. It sounds like a freight elevator going up. <laughs> it does. Oh, it only made it weaker. It did not take it down. <laughs> there, we've killed it. We've killed the machine. All right. Yeah. Shall we? Shall we get into it, sir? Put that out and leave it for later. Is that good? No. Damn you! Damn you, Shaktopus! <laughs> that wasn't the deal, Blackheart! That wasn't the deal! There you go. Alright. So, let's get into this. Let's get into it. Oh. Hey, whip. Yeah, it's angry now. Alright, motherfucker, you didn't want to go. Okay, motherfucker, now you got my attention! <coughs> <coughs> Will the angry refrigerator come back to wreak its revenge? Stay tuned on this episode of Two Brains, One Bottle. <laughs> so, yeah. Welcome back to uh, the podcast, everyone. And welcome to the back. podcast. Welcome back, Sean. Hey, it's good to be back. Pay no attention to the angry refrigerator in the background. Sean is moving soon. And, uh, I'm going to roundhouse kick that motherfucker. I'm going to swing my leg like a lethal weapon and strike it dead in its core. All right. So hopefully uh, in, in, edit, in post I will have made that slightly better. But in the meantime, hey, Sean. Hey, man. Um, did I tell you? Hold right. on. What? Hold on. We have an episode of Two Brains, One Bottle. We need to go through the bottle. We are. Well, we'll get to it. No, uh, we're not leading with that. That's... We're leading with the dad joke. It's... Oh no. Okay. All oh, right. go on. No, go for it. Let's go, dad joke. All right, fine. So my it's daughter. Your, it's your show. I'm just. I'm just uh, improvising. Whatever. <sighs> so it turns out my daughter is writing some music, and. I walked into the, the kitchen the other day. She's sitting there writing some music, and she said, after this measure, I've got to add a breath mark. She's 13 years old. She still doesn't know my name. Because my name's not Mark. See? Mm-hmm. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I got it. I was waiting for it to be good. Yeah, I know. So, uh, okay, fine. I got a second. I got a backup. Oh, go. oh, here we go. All this, right. This is, this is what you tune in. It's our, this is a whiskey joke. Uh, I was waiting for a second one. Okay. That one was not getting the... I looked up musical jokes and I, I looked up whiskey jokes. Just for us. All right. Just for you, big Ooh. guy. Ready? All right. Let's go. So, I was walking by the pub the other day. I see this little old man fishing in a puddle. Yeah, I like how you tried to start with the accent. And then you immediately aborted. Because I know better. So, this little old man's fishing in a puddle, and I just felt so bad for him. I'm like, oh, poor old guy. So, I, I asked him if he wanted to go and get a drink in the pub. And, um, you know, my treat. And uh, just to make conversation, I said, so, uh, does he catch anything good? He said, you're the eighth. You're the eighth? You're the eighth one today. Because he... Welcome to Two Brains, One Bottle. I'm Josh. This is Sean. And uh, we're basically trying to figure life out one drink at a time. If you're listening to this, you're a patron, so you already know all this. Thank you very much. And we have we have a couple questions to answer. We've got some weird news. But, hey, Sean, what are we drinking? We're drinking the Glen Levitt 14-year single malt. But it's a cognac finish. And it is good. It is glorious. Yes. It goes down like... Like butter. Like bananas, foster, creme brulee, uh, and pour that shit on muffins. Yeah. That's like, what it tastes like. Yeah. It's... Oh, it's good. It's rich. It's, it's rich and complex. It's, yeah, it's rich, complex. Uh, earphone users, turn down now. Three, two, one... 
Uh, like most things in life, speed times mass is the best solution to an annoying problem. Sorry, guys. I I live with that, and I have been living with that for several days. Since you made the decision <laughs> to move. Oh, it's angry with him. Oh, man. you know what? The fridge stops and the footsteps start. It is amazing to me. Yes. Uh, Sorry, Glenn Levitt, 14 year cognac finish. Your notes. I was just going to say uh, it's rich and complex. It's it's definitely oily, but it's not. Well, it's such a offensive. creamy mouthfeel, though. Yeah, you're left with this mouthfeel of that was delicious. I, it, I feel it, like I just ate bread pudding with whipped cream. It moistens. It moistened my palate and made me think of a crumb based. Something. A banana nut bread. A muffin. A cake a, donut. A cake donut. Something that's got that airy texture that you just want to... Mm-hmm. You want to dip that in coffee. Yep. And Right? I want to dip that in this. I want to dip my balls in it. <laughs> so, some some whiskeys, uh, even some scotches too, will, I guess, try to make you guess or... or like They'll say, how complicated can we make it? And this they seem to have said, okay, this is what we want and we're just going to leave it at that. I mean, at the end of the day, taste is always going to be subjective. It's all You're always going to pick out different flavors depending on what you've had that day, if you've just brushed your teeth, what's in your olfactory senses, what kind of stresses and triggers are going off right now. <laughs> Does it eventually go off? No. I mean, yeah, eventually, but fucking like an hour and a half, two hours, six hours, what is 12 your- hours. What is- you just unplug it. I don't know. It's still my fridge, man. I got shit in there. Well, I'm saying, unplug it, wait 10 seconds, and then plug it back in like a computer or something. It might... might yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like a fan, fan or a cooler or something in there. This is why these people tune in to hear about my yeah. refrigerator issues. So, yeah. Oh, man. I wish it was running, running far and away. So, yes. Uh, apologies for this. Uh, hopefully, the next one won't be quite so uh, noise. Don't fucking count on it, though. Yeah. So, Sean. Sorry, folks. This is the adult show. I'm going to cuss. Yes. Uh, well, they, they already know. This is 18 and up, basically. I knew I needed to take a fucking... If you're under 18 and listen to this, you, you should Go away. Yeah. Go away. This I don't is... know why you're here. You should not know about this if you're under 18. This is unfiltered for a reason. You, you have to pay money to get into here for a reason. Right. I think you have to be 18 and over to be a patron. Yes. Okay. Good. Patron, Good. I think. Anywho. Get the fuck out of here if you're not. So, I'm not going to ask where you're moving because they don't need to know that. But no. What are you most excited about uh, first doing when you get to the new place? Getting my career back into my own hands and getting both hands in the wheel of that. Speaking of getting your hands on the wheel, I'm going to be excited to set up an acoustic drum set and play and be able to teach acoustic guitar. And I'm getting an electric guitar this year. Like, that's on the fucking docket. So, your new living situation is going to allow for that? Yes, it is. Awesome. It's wonderful. <clears throat> and hey, you don't even have to get new plates. <laughs> no. He still has the plates from his from the same state where he yeah. moved from. Yeah, you know what's the you know what the funniest fucking part is? What my license is up for renewal this year. All I'm going to have to file for by 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 whenever that is. Mm-hmm. Um, ultimately, it's going to be a fucking change of address. <laughs> nice. All of this garbage that I've gone through in the last five six years. All of it just for a change of address on the license. Well, they say you can't go home again, but you have come full circle. Oh uh, man, I've gone, I've gone the full figure eight infinity sign. Mm. Yeah, dude, I'm just, ah, uh, you know, yep. you know when you realize like your life is just a summation of everything you've been through. Yes. And then you go, well, I gotta leave all that shit behind because I got new shit to do, so I can't worry about the old shit. Like, there's not enough room in my life for both yet. It's a, it's just, it's astounding to me that machinery can go bad so quick. 
Oh, yeah. They really engineer them well here in America. This leads to an interesting question. That, uh, this place fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, America or this place? America. Wow. Wait. Hey, you know what? All these people that are like, if you don't like it, move. Hey, if, you know what? Fuck you. Go back to Europe. I'm willing to stay here in the melting pot with all the people you brought over that didn't want to fucking come over in the first place. But you just I, said this America sucks. Yeah, because fucking white people ruin everything. <laughs> <laughs> you were whiter than me. And I, I know that. that possible. I know that. My fucking, my best friend Austin loves to remind me you were that the, I'm white. But guess what? White people are the fucking problem sometimes. You are A lot the, of the time. Most of the times. You were the Bill Clinton thigh to my white bread. Oh, no. no. <laughs> I'm much more empathized and, and... Yes, fair enough. And, I just meant in terms of pasty whiteness. But no, I'm actually... I don't know. Uh, anyway, that leads to our first question, which is from Tammy. Tammy asks... Uh, incidentally, if you want to ask us a question, have us answer it with all our <laughs> knowledge... Uh, at, you want to email two brains one bottle at gmail.com. That's the number two brains, the number one bottle at gmail.com. Tammy wrote in, What do you hate? Like, really can't stand. I have notes. Uh, he Tammy, has, he I has, have notes for you. I made the mistake of giving him fair warning this time about questions. Tammy, I appreciate this because this allows me to go on a little bit of a diatribe. I'm going to take over the show now. Sorry, Josh. Thank you for the. For the question. Oh, it's okay. Just let me... There, you there go. we go. All righty. Glug, 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 glug. So, if we're talking about things I hate, I want to jump in to say I don't anymore, and I am the largest hypocrite of, of falling into this, I used to say the word hate as a synonym for dislike, don't appreciate, not my jam, not my cup of tea... I used to just substitute in the word hate, and that limited my vernacular in a way that I didn't appreciate, being that I'm someone who loves good communication, effective communication, and language. I'm an appreciative, uh, uh, what's the word, what's the, linguist, wordsmith, bibliophile, bibliophile. I love books. I love literature. I love an appreciation for language in everything from plays to dialogue and movies. You know, how real can you get it? How surreal can you get it? But if I'm really trying to focus in on the word hate and be succinct with my emotions and my logic, <coughs> I will tell you what I hate. And it starts with child predators. I, you know, I, I, I don't think anyone's going to be surprised by the number one. I think that they all, I think they're broken. I don't think they're going to be functional members of, uh, of a humane society. And, and, uh, you know, the question becomes, what do you do when a human's broken? What do you do when a human doesn't, can't conform to the normal societal laws and rules? And, and can't stop the impulse. First of all, if I can interject, as, yeah. as a father of a 13-year-old daughter, yeah. I don't think I need to say what my stance on this is. I wholeheartedly agree with you that this is a thing, a, 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 a not a genre, but it is a, a an issue to to hate that it exists. That, But yes, I think it's very uh, mature of you, and I'm actually impressed that you're not just taking a, a knee-jerk reaction uh, to say, you know, well, we should just euthanize them or, or you know, you know, just execute no, them all. No, 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 no. The biggest issue we have in this country is mental illness. I agree. And I think, you know, I think if you fix the mental illness yep. issues, you can start to begin some of the healing of the people or at least start to... allow them a better understanding of themselves and how to function in a society right. and what impulse control is, because that's what that is. Impulse control is, is around that center. And if there's an issue there, if there's damage there, if there's trauma there, mm -hmm. you need to, you need to strip that away and expose the emotional raw part of it and work through it. Like there's, yeah, it isn't that nobody is born being a child predator. I don't, I don't, I don't ever believe in pure born horror. Like, right. uh, it, it, you know, it is nurtured. evil. 
Yeah. No. That's not... That being said... Bad behavior is a learned condition, just like good behavior. Like, I, like, and I don't mean that in, a, in an infantilizing way to say good behavior or bad behavior. I mean morally, along the societal constructs that we have, morally good behavior. Right. And morally bad behavior. Which, in themselves, over the years, gotten a little weird sometimes, some of them, but um, before you move on, Mm. Down your list of... I mean, that's in the same vein. Yeah. Number two's in the same Before vein. Before you move down your, your death list... <laughs> death list five from Bill, Kill Bill. Um, I do want to say that... It is a, it is a mental illness situation. Mm. But... But they're not... Nobody, like we said, is born a, a child predator. You, They... It doesn't... There's a cognitive decision that right. goes along with it. There's no teenage child predators. It's always, you know, after a certain age. Uh, it seems like. Yeah. No, what I'm, I'm not talking about their victims. I'm talking about like the people. No, I know. Themselves. I know what you're saying. So what you're, I'm saying the perpetrators. is, perpetrators. They know it's wrong societally. They know that there's help out there. If it's any time in the last twenty years, right? And so on that front, I think there's no excuse for them not to reach out, except that they don't want to. Stop the feelings, right? And that's and that at the center of it is addiction. It's a, yes. it's an addiction to the dopamine response, and the problem is you're 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 trained. It's it's like Pavlov's dog. Mm-hmm. You are you're trained and conditioned your brain to to receive that dopamine, committing a heinous act, and that is the fucking that is a big part of the issue. Yep. Is conditioning and and. Look, people are animals. The only thing that makes people and animals different is the fact that look, people learn how to gossip and spread rumors yeah, honestly, and it's the build fact that stories and shit. Our brain is three pounds versus two pounds. Right. You know, it, it's right. It's like sad. people are animals, but yeah. but if you can't be a part of, the, as I said before, if you can't be a part of the societal construct. That we have, mm-hmm. whatever that is. What I don't give a shit about your your socialism versus democracy versus any of that garbage. I just mean whatever the, you know. The laws that you can agree on as people don't fuck kids, right? Right. Don't fuck somebody who doesn't want to be fucked. Like keep your shit in your pants. I think that's really what it boils down to: is the not wanting to be because in get ancient, fucking in, in, consent in ancient Greece. Oh, that was go. That was yeah. That was a thing. Like men loved boys. Yeah, that was a thing. And and it, it, uh. we're talking. Yeah. So <sighs> I know some days I can joke about it. Some days I can I can lean into yeah, one no. joke. The one joke I have that like makes me not want to just fucking rip these people's heads off with my bare hands. Mm. I mean, rapists are in the next category. It's the same. It's just a juxtaposition. It goes from doing it to kids to doing it to adults. Or just, well, yeah, it's yeah. just the, the act of taking someone else's innocence. It, 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 that's not. It doesn't fucking fly with me. Yeah, not even innocence, but like you said, someone doesn't you're taking want to be their sense, by you. their fucking sense of internal security away from them. Yeah, it, like it, like that is a, a heinous fucking act. I agree. At least child predators. Uh, no, sorry. Whoa, let, me, let me back up. My God. Let me back up. Whoa. What I was going Holy to say. Holy shit, is, Josh! What are you doing? <laughs> oh fuck, man. Uh, oh, aren't you glad you're listening to this podcast? Shit. So, no. What I was going to say was that the child predators will sometimes use certain means to make it not such an attack. As not a, seem not seem like such an yeah, attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's infantilizing the That's situation what, or, to, make or, it, to make it more appealing to a or kid. Or getting them really young so you can just mold them into this is how this is normal. This is how it's the supposed to be. Training stuff. Right. Yeah. A child predator is not necessarily in the same mind frame as a rapist. Where a rapist is, I you know, there's a reason why rapists often are also murderers. Like they do, they get the rape done and then they kill them for whatever reason that they feel like rape is okay. Like, you know, they have issues with their mother or their, you know, an ex-lover or whatever. 
God, I hate your microphones, and I, 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 you know, I hate the fact that I live in an apartment. That's what I fucking hate, Tammy. I'm Actually, sorry, I really no, hey, without I've the grown, microphones, I've really grown to hate living but, in an apartment. There's a reason why I use shotgun microphones. I live on a street. I also I every love, single time I say something like, "We'll see you next time on room six. and I wait like one, two, three, four, five for the fade out. Every goddamn time. We'll see you next time on room six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's the sign out. You no, just you got to sample it, different. and then <laughs> it's all right. Different. See you later on room six. <laughs> only if I you know, only if there's a graphic of me grabbing some imaginary motorcycle bars and just going <laughs> off screen. Uh, but it's it's just that's the way it is. This is yeah. Life. You know, c'est la vie. C'est, but, c'est la vie. But to go back to things I or people. What do you think, hate? Think, what do I hate? What do I hate? Really can't stand. What do I hate? So I hate more than anything. I hate certain behaviors. At the end of the day, like I don't hate a whole lot of foods. Like okay. hate can't stand. There are things that I just haven't had in the right context with other foods that are going to counterbalance it. But yeah, it like comes the, down to the biggest that's... thing with a meal is balance. And if you have something that's too pungent right. and it doesn't have anything to cut it down with with the same intensity it's not going to pair well this is this is i think the fundamental of whiskey tastings wine tastings going to beer tastings doing food and culinary tours you have to expand your palate but what you don't have to expand is <sighs> people fucking with other people's money is just a bad idea and it's a bad Agreed. behavior Agreed. And, you know, as a musician. Oh, God. As a musician, if you had a dollar for every club. For, I'll tell you what. I'd have let twice me, as much as no, I ever on. made. <laughs> no, hold on. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. All right. We have a table that's roughly four foot across by two and a half feet across. And if I said to you, you get on this table right now in front of you every dollar. Hold on. Let me move everything out of the way. So this entire, entire table every, is covered with every dollar. Every dollar that. You should have been paid. This table would not support the weight. The table would not support the weight. The <laughs> limit does not exist for those of you that are the pattern is full, Maverick. For the, this hey, the this pattern, apartment doesn't have enough room for that much money. I feel the same way. Because it you took f- a long time. I don't know about you. You started much earlier than I did mm. playing music at the kind of level where you're like, hey. I was a professional in high school. Yeah. Yeah. And I was a hired I was, gun in high school. I didn't start playing an instrument. I didn't really start considering, hey, may, I got something to offer. Singing, I, I can write some music. Until I was in college. Right. Until I was 19. Yeah. Um, no, 18, 19. And even then, like, you reach a point where you're just like, hey. I'm totally worth more than I've been paid for right. this. There's, I, I was getting screwed. You know, battle of the bands. Fuck you. Pay to play. Oh god, damn. pay to play. Sell your tickets. That's the Kansas City music scene. It's the House of Blues scene. Look, dude. I'm. I'm. Side note. Uh-huh. I'm. I'm going to bring back the Flam Slam podcast. Ah, good. What are you gonna? Like, I'm going to report from Kansas City in the middle of the country. Oh, video podcast, right? I'm going to do video. Mm-hmm. It's going to be one-on-one. I'm going to try and get people for interviews. But I'm going to talk to them about local music scenes because Kansas City has tried to pump out great information about the local music scene. And the biggest issue is it doesn't appeal to the mainstream. It's the same yep. people that all go to the same local stuff. It doesn't try to bring <laughs> new people in. It doesn't try to... It's a click, and it's formed, and it's done. And I experienced it when I went through the Musicians Collective and tried to play upstairs on 18th and Vine, and it, it was not a great situation. And I tried to go down to the Green Lady Lounge and, like, hang out with people. And it was just a weird fucking vibe, and it was... So it was like surfers, locals only kind of thing? It was, it was like old jazz cats. Oh, right. Old jazz cats, but everyone had their fucking nose up in the air. You yeah. know, I would go to the rock scene, but the issue with the rock scene is like you have 10 or 12 good bands mm-hmm. that can make it. And the problem is every single band in Kansas City thinks they're going to make it. 
That sounds like L.A. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, except it sounds like L.A. 25 years ago. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It, it's... Which was... Yeah. Which was yeah, the man. 90s. No. No. Which was the 80s? Late, late 80s. Yeah, going late 80s. into the 90s. Yep. Like, it, things were starting to fizzle out. It's Sorry, not Hollywood anymore. I just had that old, that I feel old moment of... 80s going into the 90s, Hollywood was not... Hollywood anymore. Like, it was right. not the same glitz and glamour from the, the 50s strip. and 60s. Yeah. The it, Sunset Strip, that was about it. Yeah. yeah. It was it was stripped down. So, sorry to sorry to go off on a diatribe, but so, that is going to be something that I'm bringing back into the works. Is I, cool, want, I want to include new people into the Kansas City music scene because I believe, with my heart of hearts, that there are great fucking acts out there and they need... Good promotion. They need good things said about them. You're welcome to call it Room 5 if you want. <laughs> but that's what Room 6 is about. I can call oh, I can, oh, shit. I don't know what the area code is out there. I was trying to make a play off the area code, but I went 816, and that's Kansas City Mo. No, I think the, the uh, what'd you call it? Flam Slam? Flam Slam podcast. Flam Slam, totally. <clears throat> oh, you know what might be cool? If you interview a band. Yeah. And then... Send them over you, to Room 6 to do an interview with you. Well, okay, but, I mean, mine's about the Las Vegas local music scene, mostly. Hey, you know what? I'll recommend that they go to Vegas. Thanks, and man. And you can tell them about all the venues out here they can play at. But what I was going to... This awesome. is... Hey, guys, by the way, if you're listening to this fucking podcast, this is what we call networking. Hey. If you don't talk to people, you don't get anything done. Maybe be open-minded enough to share. Not everybody's out to get your, your shit. Not everybody's out to steal from you. But that you know. That but also be smart about it. But yeah, but that goes with fucking people's money. Like but, but club owners. Well, what I was going to finish. Yeah, saying sorry. Was, go ahead. So okay. Shut up. Anyway, uh, I was going to say maybe when you're done interviewing them, you can have it set up ahead of time to sit in and play drums with them on one song. Oh, I would even be down for like doing a separate pop. Oh, man, I'm giving away my fucking ideas for free here. I'm telling. Keep your ears peeled. Slam, slam. I'm, I've got things. Move in, on. I've move. got things in the pipe. Let's move on. What else do you hate, Sean? Is that your end of your list? Or no? Oh, no, no. Can I interject with one of mine? Please, please go ahead. Okay. Please. Now that I'm 48, going on 70, <laughs> I remember hating a lot more than I used to, uh, and I'm reminded of, of a bit by Patton Oswalt, who. Would just be like, when I was, you know, 22, I hated some bands and I had to tell you about it. But uh, it, it, as you get older and life piles on its responsibilities or it's just aches and pains and, you know, life, you, you realize nobody cares but me about this thing that I really vehemently hate. Now, that, that list you just read off. Yeah. I... I hate all those things. Oh, I hate all of them. In varying degrees, but... I think there needs to be discussion around... Yeah. The problem... What I hate is that our country... No, our world is not... Still, not at the point where we can be focusing all our attention on those kind of issues. We're still dealing with, they have oil, we want it. Or, uh, you know, hey, you slept with my wife, I want to kill you about it. And it's just all these other things that I can't believe that we haven't evolved enough. Like I hey, want, we, we still have a discussion to have around black people in this country. Fuck, yeah, and <laughs> we never finished that talk. And, like, hey, no all flash. those fucking cops that that had to do with Breonna Taylor still fucking need to go. They yeah. still need to be gone. Well, even farther back, it's like, hey, yeah, but uh, why did neo Nazism ever get a chance to become a thing? <laughs> Nazism it was bad enough. <laughs> right, but the, the issue with Nazism is Nazism has people who downplay it, and they have I was just symp following orders. sympathizers. Yeah. It's been the same shit since the 30s. Right. I, it wasn't, you know... I, I think what happened in my mind, okay, with my whopping 18 years more life experience than you... <laughs> a whole person who can vote. Yes, that's right. That's a whole person who can start to make change in that's the country. That's a whole person who can go to war. Ugh. Yeah, that's one of the things I hate. You should not be able to go to fucking war and not be able to get a drink. Get out of here with that garbage. I agree. You make that age 21. But. Just across the board. But. Nazism was the government. Neo-Nazism 
was a, a, a group, a sect, if you will, that every, most rational people could look at and be like, you're, you're idiots. What are you doing? And unfortunately, it's despite certain people's attempts, it, it really kept trying to become part of the government again. But fortunately, hopefully, we're 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 on a, a good path now. We'll see what happens. Don't fuck it up, Joe. We need to snuff out the flame of this imperialist attitude that yeah. white people have. It is fucking toxic, and it needs to stop. There's a question for you. How old were you? Or do you remember where you were when you realized, holy crap. White people suck? Yeah, holy crap. I, I, my ancestors have a lot to apologize for. Oh, I feel man. like I have to apologize for things now. I was... I, honestly, I don't think that day has happened to me yet, but mm-hmm. that's only because I don't know wh- who and where I come from. Yeah. Like, that is adoption-level shit. I don't know. When I know, I will be able to g- better gauge the fucking scope uh, to which oh, the so atrocities... Oh, so you don't even know, like, your, your, your background, your... your no, your I don't know my last name. I don't know... Heritage. No, nothing. Nothing. I forgot that about you. Yeah. It's a that's been, that's a genuinely frustrating place to be. You're an imposter. Yeah, that's why I have imposter syndrome all the time. He's sus. I had to work that in there. Anyway, um, so what, what's your last thing on your little list there? You know, if if there's anybody else I hate, anybody, anybody, anything. Okay, I try not to hate things. Things are inanimate. Fair people enough. people can change. Mm. People can be. People can learn something new about themselves that makes them more self-aware. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me finish real quick because I, I I was going somewhere and then sorry, I, no, I, I, I I derailed my own train. I, yeah, my, my bad. I will let you <laughs> no, no, also no, no, no. pull your train back onto the. Tracks. When you said about the inanimate things, yes, I there are days where I will vehemently just cuss out gravity, not because I hate the fact that I don't go flying off the planet and that. The planet exists because of gravity and the universe or the, the solar system and just everything. Gravity is a big reason why it all is the way it is. I hate when I drop things. I especially hate when I drop things that make like a mess on the floor or something where I make, a, I make more work for myself and I will, I have to look and say, is my daughter around? Is there anybody around that's going to have a problem if I start dropping C bombs and F bombs about Freaking gravity, because there are times where I'm like, fucking gravity. And then I'll pick up my keys or whatever. And it has nothing to do with gravity. It has to do with with me not paying closer attention. Or just, I bumped into something, and, well, that's not paying attention. So I try I try not to even do that. I, I mean, hate when I make more work for myself. That's what I hate. My thing is, I understand that we have gravity because we live in a fucking globe. I hate flat earthers. In fact, I hate yeah. anybody that's anti-science, yeah. anti-vaxxers, you know, anybody that's, that's the, the thing you don't understand is when a hypothesis is presented, when a theory yeah. is tested, yeah. if you want to go down a train of, well, that doesn't work because you need proof, you gotta have evidence, yeah. scientific fact. To back that shit up, you can't just say, I don't like that, well, so I, read I feel like it would yeah. be better if this was the case. That doesn't mean shit, and that is not your opinion, that is not a fact, that is you whining and bitching and moaning. But the Bible says... Nobody fucking cares. Yeah, I'm glad you Nobody read the book. fucking cares what the Bible says. The Bible isn't based in science. Science. Text. Journals of medicine. The secret text. Reputable sources of information. Yes, science changes. Uh-huh. Yes, theories are tested, they're disproven, <clears throat> and then you know what we do? We create a new hypothesis based on new information, new data, new decisions. And that's why things like gravity are theories. Because they are all, it, what we These know These are about. all the things we can't see with our naked eye. Yeah. But you don't think there there exists a sight beyond what we can see with the naked eye? What the fuck do you think wind is? Are you if you're still perplexed by Infra, wind, yeah. please go watch the movie Toy Soldiers. It had um oh, Nice. Yeah, yeah. LL Cool J. Robin Williams. No. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, that's toys. 
<laughs> wow, man. Big difference. Jesus Christ. Uh, Toy Soldiers had... Was that Bill Kilmer? No, that was... No, Toy Soldiers was... Uh, um, Tommy Lee Jones. Yes. Oh, oh A bunch of military toys versus a bunch of right. um, creature toys in a 90s toy shop in, I assume, somewhere in New England. You betcha. No, I think that's a little too Minnesota. Oh, that's what's coming. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Minnesota. So. Minnesota, don't you know? Right. You mind if uh, I throw another question at you? Yeah. Was it, we're going to answer one more question. So, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to go make sure oh, I I'm answer. Sorry. I thought you were oh, Tammy asked what I hate. I'm trying to go through everything I hate. It used to be a long list. It used to include country music. Country and Western. No, I do hate country Western music. I really fucking can't listen to old old country. It just it fucking bores me to tears. I don't care. I don't care about your life with right. your horse in the desert. I grew up in a desert. It wasn't that fucking bad. It was a lot of sand. And sand gets everywhere. But you learn to live with it. You live there. Shut up. Yeah. You could fucking move. You pick up, pack up your horse and get on your high horse and get the fuck out of town. Now, I am going to differ with you a little bit on that, only because there are times, having grown up listening, like sitting in the back seat, mm. listening to uh, Kenny Rogers, Crystal Gale, a, a lot of the cla- like classic, the good country artists. As I, you guys know. listen to boring shit. But the thing is, there are times... <laughs> Hey, the same could be said Man. about jazz by some people. Hey, when I was in the car, we were listening to Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, Rush. Yeah, but listen, like listen. fucking prog rock, dude. That shit listen. is that shit is gold Fair for a kid. Five. I'm the last anxiety. Of, I'm the last of five kids. You don't like this? We'll move on to another listen, section. I'm I, I'm the last of five kids. My parents were old, right? They and this was mostly my dad listening to this, mind you. But there are there are times where a little whiskey and a little. Country Western takes me back, and it takes me back to my childhood, like you were referencing earlier. And I'm, I'm just like, yeah, I remember that. That was boring as fuck. Let's move on. Right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So. Oh, I hate the process of moving. I hate the process of traveling. I, don't wanna... I love traveling. No, 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 no. Oh. On a plane with people. Oh, I hate the tube in the and, sky. And and the... the, the all I hate the, traveling in a car, too, though. I would rather yeah. just, like, give me a fucking transporter. I think it's only worse... If you gave me a transporter oh. that you're like, hey, every thousand trips, one of them, yep. you know, your your dick may lose an inch. Okay. Done. You mean I get 999 good trips out of that? Well, apparently... Sure. The theory behind transporters is that if it was viable, you literally would be disintegrating yourself and making a clone of yourself in the new location. I'm like, okay, can we fix me on the way? <laughs> Great. Oh, uh, you went to like uh, the Prestige with the Tesla machine. Well, yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. But no, this is... And a, then what do you do with the clone? You actual have scientists it. have posited this and it was like, actually makes... Like on Star Trek. Yeah. yeah they're, they're just remaking you. They're not literally sending you through space. That's impossible. Yeah, no. There's nothing in space. There's, there's the particles, no air. The particles would be lost. It's yeah. a reproduction. It's not a travel beam. However, in Stargate... Oh, unless they're tra- transmitting it by light. In Stargate, yeah. they use a ring transporter sy- system. How's that work? I, I, I don't remember Stargate other than I've seen the movie. Oh, man. The movie's great. You should watch... Oh, yeah, yeah. It was like, like a watery kind of thing, and they would walk through No, it. that's the story. Okay. The yeah. ring transporter system, there are five rings that come down. Shoom, 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 Oh, shoom. yeah! And they surround somebody, and then they transport you up mm-hmm. through a tunnel. And I assume it's the same... Was this on the series or the movie? Yes. All of it? Yes. Okay. It was a... It was a cons- cons- Consistent? Consistent theme. Well, you know how sometimes they'll, they'll do a, theory, uh, uh, a series off of a popular movie, and they'll start changing the mythos. I'm really starting to stutter as I get older. It's the whiskey. I think I'm losing my mind. I really have, oh. a, genu- I have a genuine fear of forgetting everything that I've ever learned. I took it out to make the thumbnail. <laughs> what? Your mind. Oh. <laughs> Your brain. <laughs> oh, well, that happens. That's right. Uh, by the way, for those of you wondering, uh, I'm the brain with the glasses. He's the brain with the sunglasses, because he's cooler. So what happens when you're from California? Uh, Fucking Cali. I am from West Coast, West Coast. Coast. Uh, I am from Cali, yo. I was born in Bellflower, California. Bellflower. I 
That's like literally. Bragging. That's like bragging you're being from Modesto. I moved here from Walnut Creek in Northern California. Walnut I've Creek. I've lived all over this country. I lived. I lived. My street was Walnut Creek when I lived with my sister in Rancho Cucamonga. Get this. Wife and I moved back to uh, California after she finishes up her degree in Indiana. Yeah. Uh, and the we end up literally down the street, like within walking distance. Nice knuckle pop there. Oh, pop pop? Pulled, pulled oh, I'm out and I popped all this. The joys of being a drummer. Oh, man. Or I'll tell you what, do yoga and learn where your fucking joints are. Yeah. Oh. But anyway, we ended up living literally within walking distance, I know, because we've done it, from the hospital where she was born. Wow. Yeah, from Walnut Creek. So, wow. Wow. Uh, ready to move on to another question? Yep. Cool. Cat. This is our, our last question. Remember, if you want to send in a question for us to pontificate over, two brains, one bottle at gmail.com. Gmail uh, any fitness tips for a lady looking to tone up? We've talked about... No. <laughs> I'm going to do the correct thing as a man and say, no, yeah. I have no tips for you. Yeah. But, I, I have no <clears throat> advice. I'm doing the smart thing. I've done this since I was younger, and old men have always told me, ah... Learn. Yes. Yes. Yes, I have. I learned a long time ago. How do you feel no, about it? Yeah. I have nothing to say to you about toning up. Yep. Hey, you got any opinions on abortion? Nope. Yep. Uh, got any vision? Yes, I do. Yes, yeah. I do have an opinion on abortion. Not my body, not my fucking choice. Right. Same it's only. It's the only correct answer now as then, a man. But Kat, that probably doesn't help Cat that much. <laughs> so, as someone who uh, I hit the gym five days a week, Sean is doing yoga five days a week? Uh, right now it's four. Four days a week. He's getting ready to move, so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's going to go up to six. <laughs> and honestly, Kat, uh, this is someone I actually work with, so I actually do know what her body type is and what she kind of looks like. So, uh, it's, this isn't me just assuming what she looks like. She identifies as a her and she, so I'm not assuming her pronouns either. Kat, for you... She she is looking to literally just tone up. She doesn't want to get you know big muscles like most women. She doesn't. She's not trying to burn a bunch of weight off necessarily. She just I, wants to firm up. I mean, I would immediately go to talk to. Oh oh, I have I have a personal trainer friend of mine. And Why I, don't I just fucking send you to him? Here in that, town? Huh? Here in town? Oh, is she in town? She is local, actually. Oh, I still okay. work with her. Okay. Do okay. pay attention, 007. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> yes, but we love you anyway. You work a lot on the phone. What do you want from me? I mean, I work a lot on the phone. Oh, you don't do that anymore. No. God. Jesus Christ. Christ. That's, you know what I hate? Wow. You know what I hate? Mental. Goddamn Jehovah's Witnesses. Mental. Bringing it back. <laughs> mental slipping. No. Jesus. What I hate. I'm sorry. I'm very, I'm very nostalgic being in this apartment because it reminds me that I'm not going to be in Vegas much longer. I know, it's, man. It's hitting me. I'm it is hitting sad. me. I'm just trying to, like... And then, that, and then the refrigerator Motherfucker! says... Motherfucker! the refrigerator says, Oh, really? <laughs> it, went a, it went a long time. This uh, no, it was I, I tapped it on the actual fan thing. I'm saying, mine got longer results. But anyway, back to cat and fitness. Sorry. So, uh, what... I, I agree, a personal trainer, at least for... You know, the, the beginning phase where you figure yeah. out... Oh, actually, yeah, I do. I do have someone local. Fuck you! Try, fucking tr try getting the fan thing in the back. It's, it's what I did. I'm just, it's, okay. Anyway. Uh, but I recommend personal trainer, at least while you're figuring out wh what are, where am I, what are my actual goals. Because the questions are like, what are you doing now? Mm -hmm. What does your dietary restrictions look like? What are your physical uh, restrictions? What are you, what are, what's your calorie intake? What's your calorie deficit? What's your? I mean, it's so much shit. Yep. You know what are Measuring. you eating? What are you trying to eat? What do you want to eat? What do you want? Like all of those things are better equipped for someone who yep. is in that profession. I agree. Um, I'm I, sorry, I can't be more helpful to you. I have friends who do fitness out here. I can I can get their info to you. Yep. And then you can talk to them. They probably have more knowledge on the subject. And here's what I recommend to you, uh, Kat. I recommend. That number one, treat it like it's like you're going back to school or it's another job. Like this is a thing. There's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. You do it. It's really, it's sacred time. Gym time is sacred time. Oh. Um, 
But also, I definitely recommend it's worth the investment, whether you join a gym and that has personal fitness trainers or you pay for a fitness trainer. It's worth the investment so you can figure out where are you, where do you want to be, what do you need to do, and get it from someone whose job it is to tell you all that. Uh, because YouTube is full of so much wrong information. I have heard, I heard today on the Leanne Kreischer, Wife of the Party podcast. Oh my God, that's she, a great name. She had, that's a great name for her. She had her personal trainer on, and he said, Oh, that's bullshit. Your body's like a car, mm -hmm. and you gotta strip that car down to its frame before you rebuild it. But what is it? Oh, that fucked me up in the head. Yeah. That really, that really did not do good things for mm -hmm. me, but it was the most recent fitness thing I've heard, and I was like, oh man, that means I'm fucked, because I gotta do so much more work than I thought I was gonna have well, to. The thing is, like, it really set me into a, ooh, I've been slacking. Right. The thing is, for me, I've gotten over this stupid fear I had of, well, I don't want to get too big, or I don't want to, you know, blah, blah, blah. I wish I had that fear. Well, no, no, but you realize, like... You don't have that fear growing up a fat kid. Let me no, just no. throw that out there. You Let, do not fear being on. too big. Or I don't want to, you know, I don't want to... I don't want to do so much cardio that I lose my muscle, or I don't want to be scrawny. I mean, it, it occurred to me, finally it hit me, you got to go a long time before you worry about that. I'm going to do the things... That the fit people are doing before I worry about like the tweaks that have to happen. So you're, you're not you're not blind as an adult. Yeah, you don't. There, everything isn't fucking shrouded in mystery anymore. Right. A lot of that. A lot of that dietary stuff is public access now. It's public knowledge. You right. can go find it. You can take classes online. You know, if you're really that interested in getting into that kind of stuff. But as far as um, recommendations. Talk to I would say talk to someone who's more qualified to answer that question. And I don't mind ever saying that as an instructor. Oh well. So I agree. Hey, you know what time it is? Oh no, what time is it? Weird news. Weird news. It's time for weird news. There's weird shit on the internet, and it's time to talk about it. I'm working on that. So, oh man, this is just the, this is the disappoint Sean segment. <laughs> Only because it's. About people. I got these off the police blotter. Oh, fuck. For 2021 already. Christ. It's a time of recording, it's still match. Oh, okay. Police were called because a husband found five pounds of bacon Ooh. missing from the fridge. Wait, missing? Yeah. And he's like, I don't understand. Somebody came in took my bacon. Eventually, the wife had to confess that she ate it one night as a snack because she was just super hungry. <laughs> I'm like, damn! Hold on a minute. I, <laughs> I, even if you were in the kitchen where I had access <laughs> to a lot of bacon, a lot, so much. I'm trying to think. Did she just? And I've really, never, like, like, even if you cook it down, even if you render out all the fact. All the fat, and even if you chop it down into fucking bacon bits, that's like two and a half, that's two and a quarter pounds of bacon. I know. I have eat. I have eaten a pound of bacon from the package, cooked an entire pound of it. Is that a just, rasher? Like a pound? Is that just basically one tray, one rasher? A rasher? It's a. It's a UK thing. I. I it's you, bacon you, rasher. Yeah, you, you buy like a tray with. Oh my god, there's a guy who comments on Wrestle Talk videos all the time when his name is Bacon Rasher, and I never understood what the fuck that meant. There you go. Bacon tray. Basically. Okay. So I think it's a pound. Yeah, it is a pound. So picture five of those and eat them. Even, I've eaten, like so you said, the, what you I was saying it, was, it doesn't become five pounds anymore. What I was saying was, I've good. cooked out a pound, and I've made that into BLTs and eaten the entire fucking package. It was a lot. And I felt sick. Yeah. I felt... I felt ill. I felt, I felt like I hurt my body. Like my family of if five. I, if oh, I right. did that to five, if I fucking cooked that and made five times that amount, mm -hmm. I would vomit by round two and a half. I don't. I yeah. could not stomach that. How the hell do you eat five pounds of bacon? I mean, was she pregnant? Was she you know, like just? I had the munchies. 
And I had, I've eaten for two. Fuck that, dude. <laughs> I've had the munchies. The yeah. munchies don't make you eat five pounds of fucking bacon. But you haven't been pregnant. I got you there. Okay. My family of five. <laughs> sure. My family of five eats a rasher. And we usually have a few strips left over for the, you know, for breakfast the next morning right. or something. Um, so that's weird, right? Good God. Imagine being the husband and be like... Wait, he called the police on her? No, he called the police because... Matt, you go to your fridge and... Where the fuck am I making? Five. Who well, buys on, five pounds of Alright, now let's jump into this. That's also a very male brain thing to do. Somebody took the fucking batteries out of the remote. That is a very... That's somebody took all my bacon. That's a fucking but male you, brain thing place is, to go. You might not notice a rasher of bacon. You'd notice a stack of bacon. <laughs> I'm saying it's a very male brain thing but to who go. who buys five pounds of bacon? Do they take the jewelry? No. No. You know what they took? My five pounds of bacon I had in the right. fridge. Like, that, that, but think that's about not... It. What if it's just you and the this, wife? No, it, and, and, dude. And she's like, I don't know what happened to it. No, Eventually, say, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blame him for that one. I'm going to uh, say he fucked up. All right, well... I'm going to stand up for the lady on this one. Get your ham, girl! <laughs> <laughs> Get it! Get that gristle! <laughs> Get that pit! Mm. Speaking of fucked up, <coughs> picture this. So Sicily, 1922, yes. Guy's sitting in his basement. Actually, I think he's just sitting in his living room. Watching a video, shall we say. He's watching a porno. And he's 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 master, he's jerking off. Fucking intruder comes in, <laughs> films him, <laughs> feeds his dog shrooms on the way out, and the dog dies. What? <laughs> There's so much to unpack there. For those of you who are not joining us via video because we don't do this with video, I just slammed down a drink, heard that headline, <laughs> and now I'm going to go grab a beer because I need to process what I just <laughs> fucking heard. Yeah, while you're at it. That was so many... <laughs> there was so many... Oh my god. There's so many activities. I'm crying from laughing. All at the same time. And all of them wrong. <laughs> but all, like, it got worse. Every yeah. thing you said got worse. Yeah, while you're at it, why don't you smack the fridge? Three, two, one. Uh, you, you did it again. He's so strong. There you go. Made the door bounce open again. He's so. Oh, what a. Oh, Hercules. Yes. Oh, did you watch Coming to America 2? Is it out yet? Yes, it's on Amazon Prime. No, we only have it. You know why? Woo-hoo! I, I don't want to. Sorry. My TV time there's, is limited now. There's a lot of people that hate it on it. I thought it was it's not, fucking great. I'm sure it's great. I know they're comic genius and all that. I, I enjoyed the first one. I'm too busy making content to watch other people's content, Sean. I'm a creator, okay? Yeah. You, people at home can't can't see my ridiculous face. But back to the guy. You're 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 watching porn and you're jerking off, and suddenly there's a dude there. And I in, guess, and not in the porn. No, I, I'm guessing he had a gun or something. But not in the porn. But no, yes, yes. Right, but right. suddenly you're just like, but did he keep going? Well, that's the conundrum, Josh. Would you would you finish or would you stop? My inference from this is he didn't realize till later that oh somebody was there you, watching. Well, wait, my question was, what would you do? Does guy's he? Got, guy walks in. Does he have a gun pointed at me, saying, "Keep going"? Is it, it? No, no, no. I'm asking you. He comes in. Is there a gun or is it a camera? Well, I, I, all I know is what the police blotter said. So he goes in. You said he's got a camera. Yeah. Because he records the guy. Um, I might have had a phone. Right, but then did he have a gun when he went in? You said an intruder. I, so all he's got yeah, is I, a phone? Fuck that, dude. You want to video something? I'll get up and I'll start chasing you down, <laughs> jacking off to shoot you with it. Right. My weapon's more loaded than yours is. What, do you got a fucking but camera? The, the, Let's go, bro. And then Let's fucking that. go. I'll chase you. You will trip trying to record me and running forwards. And then, you know what? I just hold you down and I finish like, on your face. And I can, then that's wow. what you fucking get. I can Don't understand. break into my goddamn house, bro. I can bro. understand thinking I'm going to rob this house. No, man, I'll get on that alpha male hold shit. On. Like, fuck I, you, on. dude. I'm not done. I can understand. The, the intruder is just like, oh, shit, somebody's here. Oh, shit. And then 
But that's where it takes a left turn. You're like, I should, I'm going to film this. And then I'm going to feed shrooms to his dog. Okay, now look, man. That's not cool. That's where it goes from now, hold on, wait. creepy and weird to... So, so this is my this is one of my issues with the, did he have a gun? You said he fed shrooms to the dog. Right. So but, I'm wondering. So so homeboy didn't fucking, when he's on his way out, pick up the shrooms off the floor? Or did he just... Or was the dog that goddamn stupid that it was like, oh, hey, a new person. Who's got food? Oh, food. I like food. I like treats. <laughs> That's all I like got, Like fucking man. dogs do. That's all I got. That's... That's all right. Well, now I'm now I feel like I'm victim blaming. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. This is not the podcast. This is well, not supposed let to me, turn let into me this. finish on a, a lighter note. Oh, and then the dog died. That's yeah. right. The dog died. The dog died. Fuck that. The guy. The, but the dog died. The fucking intruder. Tripping. Intruder. <laughs> yeah. That, intruder guy he, should be put down. Add him to your hit list. You're put down, dude. You're done. Add you know him what? To your hate list. You know what happens? Do you know what happens? He's writing. Hold on. Do you know what happens when you kill the dog that with fucking shrooms? Yeah. You just made that list! <laughs> Sean's list! Shout out to Chris Jericho. <laughs> Shout out to Chris Jericho. You just made the list as his thing. I'm just... Oh. I'm making lists sound right. right. Jericho, you're never going to fucking listen to this podcast. But I'll tell you what, Chris Jericho... You changed my life with the list because I figured out that I am a list writer and a list completer. And if you write it on the list, you better check it off that motherfucking list, son. Right? Right. Well, now I have to somehow send him a copy of you saying that. We'll just take the long form of the podcast and I'll send him the whole thing and be like, hey, Minute Marker, here, mentioned you. Look at you go. I got, dude, I, got, I have no more inhibition about not telling the people that I admire that I admire them. Right. I have none of that anymore. I have none, no hesitations anymore because mm-hmm. I have been alone. I have been with people. I have been with family. And what gets me through things are just the people that make a difference in my life. Nice. So, of course, I'm going to tell them. I got one more weird news bit, and then... God damn it! <laughs> Fuck! Before All we, right, go. One more, and then Let's we'll... Let's go. Weird we'll, news, weird one news. One more, and then we'll do the outro. Fuck the shit, I hate the stuff. So, <laughs> uh, so a child care business... <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, so a child care business... Playing on a Chapman stick. Noise. <laughs> Playing on a Thurman. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Anywho... Child care. You go to pick up your kid. Mm. There's some guy standing outside the window. He's been, been there for hours. Oh, no. 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 Already. Wait for oh, it. Oh, hold on. I knew you already went hours. Like, if he's standing so, out there so, for more than 30 minutes, I'm calling a fucking cop. Here's the deal. So instead of, like, you know, walking I don't over like to the shit. I do not like being stared at. So instead of walking over to the window or going outside and saying, yeah. hey, Jeez, go. they call the cops. Guess what it is? Guess who it is? It's a fucking cardboard cutout of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Somebody just put it there to be funny. I I think the fault is on the people there. Not you gotta fucking go outside, man. You gotta at least go to the window. Are we that scared? Are we that conditioned well, here's the now deal. that we're does scared the, of the Does the, the window not world? have blinds or a curtain or something? Where do you live that you don't have at least blinds on a, on a window, even if you haven't pulled up all the time? In a business. Well, just like even if there's a cardboard cutout out there, I'm still gonna like crack the door open. Kind of take a step or two or three outside. You know, I've got a bat. <laughs> I'm I'm a just, product. I'm a product of the '90s. I feel like '90s was prime. Like dad teaching you to to always have a bat by the bed or right. a bat by the fucking door. And no, 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 you know, no, 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 no. Sorry, Batman. Like so, he gave my or, sister a softball bat, oh. one of them big fucking heavy aluminum things. My kid's got a dagger. She also knows where all the swords are in the house. I have a bat. Oh, I have oh. golf clubs. I have. A, I, I yeah. have. Shit, Heaven please. help you. Heaven help you if you're in the kitchen and trying to. Oh, make, get the fuck out! I got chef's knives. I, I my, my daughter, my 13 year old daughter, has had it, her own knife, of, her own drawer of knives uh, since she's been what eight. So yeah, she's not afraid of knives. She's just afraid of. Neither am I. Discipline. Hey. Oh yeah, how's your thumb? Hey, you know it's healed. Nice. With it's that, definitely it's. Absolutely misshapen. Awesome. <laughs> now, is, now you're a drummer, my son. It is not the right. Oh, please! I've beaten. I've beaten yes. my fucking hands on my rims and just 
Is that, a, is that what the kids are calling it nowadays? Beating your hands on your rims? Yeah, when you slam your knuckle into metal and split it open? Yeah, that's what we call it. You're talking about jerking off, but I'm talking about slamming your head in no, a fucking rim. No. Anyway. But yeah, you cut yourself open and it gets pretty bad. But nice. anyway. Um, We're going to call it there for this we'll episode. Right. Yes. We want to thank you for listening. Definitely tell a friend. Let them know, hey, buck a month and you get this wonderful hour-long podcast of us just talking about whatever and also trying to help it where we can. In the meantime, keep remember on. to remember to be amazing. Hey, stick to your guns and never never settle for anything less than your dreams. There you go, and we'll see you next time on Two Brains One Bottle, and hopefully over at Room Six. But a bump, but a bump.